permit me to introduce myself. I'm Henry Harrison. Do you have any idea what it's like to spend your life so close to so much wealth, to find a cause, to rally the support, and never see a dime? I got tired of doing unto others. Oh, one other thing is, you might remember, I'm also the guy who got you out of that malpractice suit. Do you remember that? And then believe me, I can get you back into it just like that. Boom, boom. So don't even bother waiting till the end of the month. You're fired right now. Rotate, pal. Aha, that's my point. Since you work so tirelessly to prove to everyone that Shane could actually rise to the level of a mediocre student, I'm now compelled to protect this newfound academic prowess by declaring him ineligible for this tournament. All right, don't get me up. Let's go. Bunch of fucking weirdos. We're going to take a little walk. And don't try anything funny or the whore loses a kidney. Let's go. Your mind bender. For two months, I got you. Holy Christ. Oh, going to need some more FBI guys, I guess. I don't know where all these years have gone, B.L. Seems like... Seems like yesterday we were helping each other strap on our shoulder pads. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, I miss those times. You know, I came here hoping to bring my little girl home. Turns out she's not a little girl anymore. I, I'm gonna miss you. I don't know. What can I tell you? I, I lose perspective when it comes to women. Oh? Uh, Corporal, show these women to my import cabin, please. Grab some sky there, toots. Coach, it's the last game of the season. You could maybe get in for a couple minutes. You want to play? Yes, please. No, you don't. Kid loves me. You know, it's... I'm like a father to him, really. <laughs> now, that speech, Nancy, that is going to make or break the entire campaign. I'm going to have live television, live radio coverage, Everybody in this state is either going to be watching or listening as the senator talks to a small, intimate group of friends and supporters and family. If anything goes wrong, I'm going to kill you first. Nothing's going to go wrong. Call the mule. I know. I know all about you. I like your place here, too. It's very nice. You also got a little something that belongs to me, don't you, Gums? The fuck are you talking about? Never seen you before in my life. Now listen, Sarge. You think you're moving in on my territory? I think you better cough up some do re -mi. right now. 500 bucks, let's have it. <laughs> what 500 bucks? What are you talking about? Fuck off! Fuck off! Fuck off! You go to Pablo, you cut yourself in on my action, you don't think I'm coming after you? Jesus Christ, you got a lot of balls! <laughs> this is me being nice. Doesn't happen often. I anticipate penetration and acquisition at 2100 hours tomorrow. Hold on. Fuck off. Do you talk to everybody like this? Of course. Well, my niece told me you were different. <sighs> I hope you like champagne. Yes, yes, I do. Uh, do you have any glasses? Uh, I'm sure. Yes, right here. You're a very beautiful woman. Thank you. I get the feeling, though, that uh, there's a whole other Maggie that you never let anyone see. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is a perfect time to break free of all these conventions. I like that song says, I cover the waterfront. Don't let me catch you snooping around my boat. 
We'll just set our badges down and we'll get it on, you and me, Hoss. Is that him? Yes, sir. Now, you listen to me, mister. I don't know who in the hell you think you are or what you're doing, but you just destroyed a building. Who the fuck is this? This is Deputy Chief of Police Dwayne T. Robinson, and I am in charge of this situation. I've been up all night. 14 straight hours on this goddamn murder spree. Now, I'm going to go home. I'm going to have a little breakfast. Read right? it. Loam. Extra thick. 100 cubic feet. Carpathian Landfill Company. I don't believe this! No yelling, okay? I've got this stomach thing. My doctor says I've got to cut down on my stress. You want sympathy, Leo? You look between shit and syphilis in the dictionary. Oh, no, you're gonna like it. You're gonna love it on the road, gang. Out there with the cons cutting that grass. Oh, yeah. We make the effort, Mr. Mullaney. We can't stop it. Wait, wait a minute here. Aren't you being a little dramatic? <sighs> yes, I, I just might. We're under investigation. Oh, oh, hey, buddy. You two are the investigation. I got news for you. I've run Daryl Brian McLaughlin through every data bank in this state, and believe me, you could put his life to music. You could play it on Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. No arrests, no convictions, no known associates, no nothing. Nobody had any reason to kill this man, but his body's in the morgue, his file's on my desk. Call me crazy. I would like to know how he died. Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. been there? I can't say that I have. No. A guy matching your age and build went in there the other day and hocked Clark Randall's watch. <laughs> well, that wasn't me. What do you, you want to put me in a lineup? Thanks for the list. All right. Don't mention it. All right, look, hey, we've got to get to this mystery passenger. Now, Kona, what do you have on this, uh, this uh, B.R. Hardy? Well, your pet dog's out of his cage again. Now, don't start that shit either. The man is a burnout. That bonehead play he pulled up in Dallas, that's burnout, Ron. <laughs> you call that a deal? So what have you got? I got 18 hookers who knew Brenda Morris, and none of them had the same clients. I'll tell you the truth, Lieutenant. I never thought I would say this about New York. I'm running out of hookers. Who's that with the group? Is that Peter Brackett? What's going on here? He's the last person we need talking to our only eyewitness. I don't know how Brackett got to him, sir. All right, let's just pull the kid out of there, please. <sighs> oh, now who the hell is that? I don't know. Are you expecting anybody? No, are you? <sighs> I hope it's not work. Answer, will you, sweets? Got a girl. Buddy Lee Stryker, Palm Beach, big time PI, fast cars, fast women. Woo! We're at high cotton. Hey, I'll bet you drive a Ferrari. A red one? <laughs> you know, it's. Woody, what's the matter? You don't trust me? Hey. Hey! I'm your Uncle Jay, kid. You're full of crap, aren't you? No, 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 you didn't forget. I have told you a thousand times, do not bring poppy seeds. I can't eat poppy seeds. They get my teeth. I forgot. No, you didn't. But you bring the poppy seeds here anyway, don't you? Now, you know why you bring the poppy seeds? Because the runt likes poppy seeds. So here we got poppy seeds in the house. I can't eat poppy seeds, honey. You know I can't eat poppy seeds, but you bring them in anyway because you don't care about me. All you care about is him, and that's a fact. You are nuts. The night is young, Pauline. What do you say? A little dancing, a couple cocktails? Uh, to tell you the truth, Sterling, I'm a little tired. Oh, come on. Honey, it's not even 9.30. It's party time. I'll catch you later, dude. Okay, one dance, one drink. Where do you want to go? My place. <laughs>